Hey everyone, welcome back to the Christian Meditation Podcast, episode 159. A freeform Christian meditation on Isaiah chapter 53, verses 1 through 3. My name is Chaplain Jared, and I work as a hospice chaplain. I've also worked at the ICU as a chaplain as well. My purpose in making this podcast is to help you to find more peace in your life and to be more open to be changed and influenced by the Spirit of God and to feel His love for you. So right now we're going to be doing a free-form Christian meditation, which is just my way of saying that letting the Spirit direct us in how to spend the time in meditation today. So find a place where you can sit comfortably for the next 15 minutes or so and close your eyes if you feel comfortable to do so. In this moment, we're going to take a brief moment to calm our mind down a little bit and to understand its natural running process so we can focus our minds on the word of the Lord. In this moment right now, your body begins to unwind. You don't need to force yourself to relax. In fact, that's kind of a paradox. Just allow air to gently come into your body and out of it as you just practice unflexing the muscles in your neck, back, face, arms, hands, everywhere where you become conscious of it. You feel peace begin to flow through your body as you bring air into and out of your lungs. Any racing thoughts can be set aside. The focus right now is the Word of God. I'll read now from the Bible, Isaiah chapter 53. Verses 1 through 3. This is the NRSV. Who has believed what we have heard? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by others, a man of suffering and acquainted with infirmity. And as one from whom others hid their faces, he was despised, and we held him of no account. I invite you to spend the next ten minutes with the message God has for you. Perhaps you spend the time in silent reflection on this scripture, on this message, perhaps. You pray, whatever God puts it upon your heart to do, draw near to Him.
Thanks for joining me today. If you didn't hear the last couple episodes, I have an announcement that my Apple app has finally been released. It's basically a streamlined process on how to listen to the podcast. It'll track playback speed, everything like that. You can use it for an alarm in the morning or a sleep timer at night. I want you to continue to reflect on this. As we go through hardship, there is one person who we can be 100% certain will always be able to understand the depths of our feeling. And that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we learn to recognize the value that he provides us, the grace, the love, the forgiveness, we can also become aware of the example in suffering, the example in sorrow and grief. May each one of us, as we experience difficulties in our lives, put it in context and realize that this life is meant to prepare. This life is meant to draw closer to God. And ultimately, as we go through struggles, if we endure them well, we can draw closer to Him. Nothing in our life, no trial, no hardship will be wasted if it draws us nearer to God. May you have success in finding this message and having it reach you deep into your heart. If you want to find out more information about the podcast, you can go to ChristianMeditationPodcast.com. You can also financially support the podcast at patreon.com forward slash Christian Meditation Podcast. The name of the app in both the App Store and the Android Google Play Store is called Recenter with Christ because the name Christian Meditation Podcast is not appropriate in an app and also Christian Meditation in general. The name was taken, so. I did this one, Recenter with Christ. I believe it's descriptive of what I'm trying to do with this podcast. So thank you so much for joining me today. I know that God loves you. And he will be able to be there for you whenever you reach out. And this I say in Jesus' name, amen.